gold analysis. I know many people have noted that gold has really bought in the last few weeks. And everyone wants to know, is gold continuing to buy? Will it continue to buy? Will it continue to sell? I want you to comment down below in this, uh, in this video. What do you think will happen? What do you think will happen? So for me, I'm thinking, let me analyze gold. And then by the time now the, the signals are coming of what I have predicted, I'll be in a good place. So again, I do this a lot in my mentorship program where I charge $400. So if you're interested, the course is recorded. It's an online course where you can buy. And also if you want to come to physical class, it doesn't matter even if you're not in Kenya, you can still come. Like last month, I had a, a student all the way from Botswana. She came and she learned a lot. So even if you're in another country like USA or you are in South Africa or you're in Uganda, Tanzania and you're watching me or you're in India or you're in any country, you can plan yourself and you can come. I remember in January, I had a student all the way from Malawi. So, and I had, I have had students from Uganda, Tanzania, South Africa, uh, who comes to my physical class. So anyway, let's do this gold analysis for my thoughts. First thing I, I told you, anytime you are um, analyzing a market from a higher time frame, you need to know the market structure. And the reason why it is hard for us to predict gold is because this market has been having a very, like this market has been having a ranging since 2020. So since Corona time, COVID time, this is when the market entered this area. So in short, those people who are saying, oh, gold will sell, oh, look for sell opportunity. My question is, if this market break out of this range, are you ready for this run? Are you ready for this market to buy this massively are you even ready because there's nothing will be preventing gold gold has never been been uh, above 2000 so are you ready for you to sell and then gold decide it's our time it's our chance to buy so that's why i'm saying it is very 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 in a tricky position to even start saying oh it's a buy oh it's a sell without having key indications so what uh this video uh the analyzing video is helping you uh it's this video will help you to understand what gold will do in the next few months so this is not analysis of a one day analysis i'm doing analysis projecting the whole of 2024 what i think what i think in this month of 2024 and this is my uh, my thoughts on this. When a market range for more than four years, don't you think if they break out, it is the time the market will push even further? So for me, I don't, I wouldn't want to start looking for sell opportunity with no indication of selling. I wouldn't, in fact, I am looking for buy opportunity because when you have a channel, if the market is close to the resistance, look for buy opportunities if you have a channel and the market is close to support look for sell opportunity why it is easier for people to think because the market is at resistance it will be rejected who told you the events that made this market to be rejected here we know it was covid uh back in 2022 what really made the market to reject here what was that event if you know the event that happened back in 2020 Two, that made gold really reject that area. Let's come back here. This is 2023. So majority of people have been saying since 2020, 2022, 2023, when gold comes to this area, and this was, uh, this was December, around January, when the market comes to this area, it tends to sell. Let me tell you, you'll be surprised this time. You know, this is the month of March. You'll be surprised this candle, the monthly candle that you're seeing happening right now, you'll be surprised it breaking through. And imagine you'll be, maybe you are selling. No, so we can't, that's not how people predict. You don't predict saying, oh, because three months, the market rejected the same area, will be reject, there'll be rejection. No, you don't know what really caused the events. Maybe the events that caused the market to reject, it is not the same event at uh, 
uh, the market will happen. Maybe we don't have that event. So according to monthly, no indication. And then again, check the last candle, the price action of the last candle. So this is a candle that has gone like for four days. So our market went really huge on Friday last week. And it's only like four days and you can see the market has bought with how many pits. This is to tell you gold has, has a lot in store for us, 395 pips. So we have 395 pips. The question is, we have this bigger week and this is a candle that we call it spinning top. Spinning tops comes to give you an indication of the market is indecisive. It doesn't know if it wants to buy or they want to sell. So we can't, we can't use even price action to understand what gold wants. So according to monthly, uh, buying it, it is more safer than selling because we are nearing resistance and resistance has been tested so many times. One, we already know that, imagine if you, it's like having a door and that door, you tend to break it every time you come with something hard and you try to break that door. Eventually it will break. So this resistance has become so weak. It has been tested so many times and even the attempt of breaking through and it didn't break so many times that the market did what uh, got rejected. But what if they will try again? So for me, I feel on the monthly time frame we are being told look for buys. The other thing that is making me look for buy, guys, is the fact that we have this double bottom that is not on the monthly. So according to this trade, I have this double bottom. And this is what I used last week to trade because I was on a bullish on gold. So we have this double bottom that is very bullish. And let's see, this double bottom half has been broken. What do you expect, guys? What do you expect? Because when the market, uh, when we were starting last week, when we were starting last week, and the candle had given us this bullish angle. I told guys, we are entering by, in fact, we wanted not only few pips. I was telling them, let's buy up to 2058. But the market even went beyond with 491. Like from where our take profit was, gold pro proceeded to, with a 294 pips. The question is, what do you think? Don't you think the market will finish this job and hit 600 pips? Don't you think it is going to 2143? According to the pattern, you see, it has broken structure. It has broken the half. And the half means if the market breaks half, it is on a journey of buying. So the market is like that. It has that double bottom. If you come to the monthly, that double bottom is no longer there. So weekly have a upper end again. Weekly, they are telling us to buy. Let's go to the daily time frame. So daily time frame, if we spot our, our, our market, if we spot our market, this is the leg that we are using. So what I want, I want to delete everything so that you can have, you can pay attention. The secret that I have found when you're analyzing the market, if you're analyzing, this is the market that you're analyzing, how it has been buying. If this is what you're analyzing, don't be blinded by these events. All this, this is, I, I call it, it's like blinding. These are blinders. Our concentration is how has the market been going up? Sorry for that. Um, I wanted to say uh, our attention is this market. You see this? This is where we are putting our attention, this leg. So when we are trading that, Everything behind that is, uh, for us, is a distraction. So what you need to do, you need to trade like that. So if we trade it, um, it's supposed to be like that. You're supposed only to trade this leg because this is the leg that will tell you what is happening. And for me, I'm waiting for a support to be created, a resistance to be created. On this leg, I have a support. So I have said, gold, we already know it's a buy. But the question is, how do we enter that buy? How do we buy back to 2143? That is 600. So 
we are concentrating with this leg. This is the leg that guys are concentrating with. I have said, leave alone. If you flip your chart, you will say, oh, there's obstacle. They, these are destructive. They are just there to distract you. So what we need to do is to identify our support area. So let me remove this box. Uh, I think it has given you, um, let me not even remove it. So we have our support area. If this candle closes red, what do you think we have, guys? We have our resistance. So if that candle closes red, we have our resistance. So this is the two areas I want you to focus. I want to focus on a resistance created by this leg. Again, I'm saying don't pay attention on this. And this is daily. So we are really paying attention on both um, on resistance. In this candle, how is resistance created? Do you know how resistance is created? When a red candle is when a green candle is followed by a red candle. So the first thing I want you to go and mark in your chart, I want wait for, for resistance to be created. Wait for resistance to be created. That is the first thing that I want you guys to don't make any hasty decision and say oh, gold is buying, gold is selling. Wait for resistance to be created. At least here we have our support. Now, once the resistance and uh, once resistance and support is created, because already support, we have it. Support is created when a red candle is followed by a green candle. But resistance, we don't have any resistance, guys. This candle, the red candle has to close in the next nine hours. At this time is at three. In the next nine hours, that resistance will close. So the question is, you wait for the resistance to close. So you can be waiting on the daily time frame. Let's see on the four hour what is happening. So when uh, we are waiting for resistance to be created, what is happening on four hour? What is happening on four hour? The market has created already a resistance. So on four hour, we have a resistance created and we have a support created. So we have a support created that is not anywhere on the daily. Can you see? That support is not anywhere on the daily because support to be created a red candle has to be followed by a green candle. So it's like four hours they are ahead. And so we have resistance created on four hour. So daily I've said you wait for a resistance, but on four hour we have both. I want you now to start checking if this is my support. If this is my support and this is my resistance. I want you to check support. And then I have my resistance. I want you guys to now observe. Anyone who wants to trade gold, this is the only way you can analyze it. Because remember, on the weekly, monthly, they have suggested a buy. But what about lower time frames? Because note, we had a gapping around here. The market gapped here. So what if they will first correct that gap before buying? And you know, it's, um, it's many pips many pips what if they will say let's first go down correct that gap is more than 300 pips and that's what i'm saying when you have your support in place and your resistance in place now you can observe don't enter the market without an uh, uh, a confirmation and that's why i tell people when the market breaks your resistance at least you know buyers are in control and then when the market breaks this support you know it can sell, but if you're selling, don't be a hundred percent sure because selling is not supported by a higher time frame. So I don't want to make this video long. I want to show you that gold. Yes, for our we are waiting for something like this, but on daily we even don't have a resistance. Daily first they give us resistance, and then maybe they give us current support because the support we have on the daily is so far far from uh from our from our trade but when you're on four hour you can have something like something like that so i will be keeping you updated so what i will do this is gold analysis part one what will happen if gold breaks either resistance support i'll be coming here and update you guys and that way we'll be knowing uh, having a clue what is happening so I think that is the only thing I can tell you. So those people who have placed buy, 
make sure your account is bigger because the retracement is crazy. If gold can retrace back to, um, there's a, I use Paperstone. Other brokers like Oanda, Forex.com, they don't have this gapping. And what if the market can come to this area to create a double bottom? What if we they will come here? And you see, for me, I would rather not trade, but tra uh, rather than trading with no uh, confirmation, what if they want to come to that area? And can you see, we don't have that double bottom on dailies, meaning that is a very, very key area for the market to come. So what if they want to come and activate that double bottom? We can check even the Oanda. That is um that is that is that is paper store. If I check Oanda, do I have that double do I have that uh support? Let's see on Oanda. Do we have that support? Yes, support is everywhere. Oanda also we have if you're using Oanda, we still have resistance and support. That is Oanda. So we can't enter any. So we are hoping what if they want to come here because this is a very key area. Maybe that's how I'm analyzing gold. So I'm not I'm not um suggesting it will buy immediately, but it is on a buy. The question is it is on a buy and we cannot refuse that. But what if they sell back. Uh, let me show you something that happened. That is 400 pips back. Something happened. Um, something happened oh, a, a time, some time back on gold. Uh, you see here, the market really bought. I think it was back in December. The market bought... One candle bought almost 800 pips and we thought the market will not go back. And you can see the retracement. The market really went back. Even people are wondering, hey, what is happening? So don't see because there is a buy market and there's a push in the market that like buyers cannot, the sellers cannot push it down. Anything can happen with gold. So what I want you to do, just analyze, put it like that um on the upper side and then on the downside and trust me they can come here and this is four hour so what can happen maybe they can find a double bottom that is nearing they can even activate the two hour double bottom let's see on one hour it's not necessarily a must they come to four hours and then on 30 minutes these people they can they can they can be crazy so uh, all the best. Let's uh, leave it there. I hope with this, it will give you long term. These are long term analysis because you can imagine either the market going up and activating the weekly double, double bottom, the neckline. So this neckline is what the market is approaching to. So you can find that the market even wants to come to, to that area. Anyway, all the best, guys. I hope that was helpful. See you in the next one. Love you.